What's up, fam? Main man, me, man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? And what up to everyone in Main Man Me Man's boxing for? Yes, sir. Hey, look, man, the thing is this. So I'm sitting here thinking about the Stephen Fulton and Monster Inuit fight that's going down on July 25th. I'm thinking this gonna be a smoking ass fight. And I gotta keep it 100 with y'all fight fans. My position on this fight might have evolved just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? The thing is about this fight, man, I got total respect for both of these fighters and can really appreciate this fight. You got two top 10 pound for pound fighters putting it all on the line. Most importantly, fight fans, these two dudes are not from the same stable. So they put their teams to work, they closed the gap, and they made it made it happen. You know what I'm saying? You got two fighters on the opposite end of the boxing political spectrum, and they still came together for a, a big name fight. So when you see something like this, boxing fans, we have to cheer it. We have to we have to uh, support it and, and salute it. You know what I'm saying? Because this is something that we all want to see in the fight game. Two top fighters getting in the ring with each other without no politics, without no hoopla, a bunch of social media, tippity tap, tap, tap stuff. None of that stuff, man. These boys got into the ring and made it happen. So I applaud it. Once again, two top uh, 10 pound for pound fighters putting it all on the line. In Stephen Fulton's case, where he is a unified champion at 122 pounds, laying it all on the line right there, man. He was on his way up to 126 pounds to start his career, to continue his career up did but however when the name monster Inua came around this pulled him back on down to 122 to defend his two straps man i respect that you know what i'm saying Stephen Fulton has been saying a lot that he's been wanting to do a lot of different stuff. He's very, very hungry. He wants the big names. We seen him mixing it up with the Daniel Roman and the Brandon Figueroa's of the world. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he wants the big names. He wants to keep on going up the ladder and he wants to get his recognition. Hence, you see him sitting here going back down and wait to defend his titles against the monster. The monster got a whole country behind him. Japan definitely supports monster anyway. And Stephen Fulton knows this. So from on a big name scale uh also with the hype and the, and the fanfare that's coming with monster anyway right now uh it makes sense for Stephen fulton man when he was talking about going back up to 126 he was talking about rematching brandon figueroa possibly so uh, i think this is a, a better fight this is this is fresh air you know what i'm saying uh also a good legacy point for for Stephen fulton if he is uh successful and that's for monster anyway well you got a dude in this case right here former undisputed champion at 118 pounds fight fans that's right man he he is basically trying to continue his legacy and add another paragraph on his wikipedia everybody going up to 122 no no half stepping no no taking on c b tier level fighters going up against the best fighter of the class first fight at the class dog when you do stuff like that man that's how you get on main man's pound for pound list, man. Putting that work in for real, you did. So if anyone wanna say that this dude has been all hype and the boxing media has been hyping him and so on and so forth. Well, I mean, look at this case right here with Stephen Fulton and you gotta say, look, Monster anyway, fresh off being undisputed, moving up against the best fighter of the class. Well, shit, man, I don't think nobody can call him a hype job from that point on down, especially if he get this thing done by margins, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bro, Monster NUA, um, once again, several ch uh, divisions at this point, um, he sh if he comes off like this, he's trying to make a play for number one pretty soon, man. If he keep on going down the road that he is going, bro. So I'm really looking forward to this fight. Let's talk about the skills of both fighters real quick. All right, fight fans, let's start with Stephen Fulton first, man. Stephen Fulton, cool boy Steph is what they call him. 21 and 0. Eight knockouts, fight fans. Eight knockouts. Yikes. That's a 38% knockout percentage, man. The dude, um, very, very good fighter. Five foot six, 70 inch arm reach, man. Very, very good fighter, man. Unified champion. Went in there, coming off two of the best wins of his career. Uh, against Daniel Roman and Brandon Figueroa. Um, also a fighter that can do it all in the ring. He's just a marvel in the ring to, to a certain degree. Uh, fast hands, known for his hand speed, known to be a very elusive fighter when he wants to be, can make you do it all, man. Can run you in the traps, do all kinds of things. You know what I'm saying? And even showed us another layer in his game in the Brandon Figueroa fight by showing us that he is down to be slick on the inside.
inside, can give out hard shots on the inside to keep you honest, and have fast hands on the inside. So he is a problem on the inside when he wants to be fight fans. But most so known as to be a mover and a boxer on the outside, likes to move, uh, likes to set traps, likes to use his hand speed. But once again, man, a very notable boxer uh, in, a, in the area of fundamentals, no one does it better than Cool Boy Steph, man. So very, very good fighter, man. Um, and I got to tell you, man, Monster Inoue certainly got his hands full dealing with Cool Boy Steph. He seems to be hungry. He seems to be determined, ready to go fight fans. Let's see what he got. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the monster. Monster Inoue, man, three division champion, looking to become a fourth division champion fight fans that's crazy right there that's insanity you know what i'm saying looking to become a fourth division champion this is after already being undisputed down there at bantamweight for those who don't know 118 pounds you know what i'm saying getting the job done coming off two of his best performances against paul butler and against his rematch against nonito denier man we know that monster inuay also won the world boxing super series where he defeated nonito denier in that tournament as well monster inuay has beat the best fighters of his class fight fans um and he's been looking stellar in doing so when it comes to skills inside the ring monster inuwe is a freaking phenom at this point fight fans and for what we've seen thus far his power being a certified sure thing the man walks around literally toting the 88 percent knockout ratio fight fans that's insanity we're talking about 24 wins no losses 21 wins by knockout so we all know that the monster can definitely punch accurate puncher as well cal calculated puncher as well um can fight you in a brawling fashion if you want to let that war break out he's down for that throws punches and bunches uh also he can become a calculated boxer from the outside using strong single shots and combinations to, to knock his opponents out jumps in jumps out good legs still young fight fans um what is he 30 years old so you know still got good good age on him uh basically in his prime at this point you know what i'm saying and uh, he is boxing like a phenom, moving through the weight classes right now. Got a lot of hype behind him. His country in Japan believes in him heavy, you know what I mean? And uh, this dude is a phenom, Joe. And I just want to see how far does he go. Um, I have been asking for better names. I want to see him step it up a little bit more uh, to see some of the, the resume match the hype to a certain degree. Respect his fights over Nonito Denier and the Paul Butlers of the world and the Payanos of the world. Those are cool. You know what I'm saying? Jason Maloney's of the world. Those are cool. But uh, the name of Cool Boy Stephen Fulton, well, that just has much more recognition. That's the name that everyone can go to for anyone to say, hey, this guy hasn't fought the most stellar competition. You can always point to Stephen Fulton and say, well, that argument is now dead. But when it comes to skills, man, this guy is a very good fighter, man. Very calculated as well, man more calculated than a lot of people know doesn't get tired good engine on him down to go all 12 rounds good good fighter in monster anyway power being the sure thing he can knock you out in any portion of the fight it can be happen early and he's carried it he can carry his power late the guy's a problem man he's a phenom according to Nito denier he's never been hit like that by any fighter in the fight game the way he was hit by the monster that's crazy I gotta keep it a buck man both fighters also had some criticism on them as well man going into this fight and hopefully we can get better answers on the the criticism that they're facing going into this fight as for cool boy steph well he's facing the criticism of being a pillow puncher once again he has eight knockouts fight fans that is that's definitely not screaming knockout artists you know what i'm saying and uh, a lot of folks are wondering does he have the power to keep a monster inuwe off of him a high activity fighter monster inuwe constantly moves uh always looking for ways to get in uh always kind of keeping you on your toes and uh you got to ask yourself if he decides to want to maybe bring some sort of a war type fight uh to um cool boy stuff will he be able to keep monster off him i think that he will you know the thing about cool boy stuff that um a lot of people don't give him enough credit credit for which we learned in the figueroa fight is that physically he is strong and he can handle himself very well inside as well as when it comes to clinches and just being a physically stronger guy not to mention he is the naturally bigger man over the monster anyway so i mean who knows man i mean far as keeping monster off him and everything like that i don't know i know he may not have the biggest punching power but he can grapple he can hold he can lean he can do certain things and kind of throw his weight around 
but uh i mean monster is going to have a high activity rate and far as punches uh will monster have anything to worry about from cool boy stuff far as when it comes to punching power now cool boy stuff is well on record letting the people know that hey it ain't all about power in order to in order to win a fight it's more than one ways to skin a cat he's he's saying that he can depend on his other abilities and other attributes that get him through these fights his elusive ability, his ability to string together combination punches, uh, mm -hmm. his, his his ability to become a counter puncher, a deadly counter puncher as well, and as well as a good accurate puncher also. He likes to use other abilities, you know what I'm saying, uh, to make up for his lack of power. Now, another bit of criticism that I've been wanting to give Cool Boy stuff is lately, I don't know what this weight cut has been doing for him at 122. We do know he was headed up to 126 prior to the monster fight falling in his lap. But I just wonder, man, like him going down to 122, is it going to take a, anything out of him? I mean, he was looking to move up for a reason. And for as for the monster anyway, like I was saying a little bit earlier, man, people want to see the name recognition. People want to see the caliber step up a little bit. People give him his full credit for the, the, the Nonito Denier wins. But Nonito Denier once again was an aging fighter. Nonito Denier also did the same thing that I'm also hoping that is an effect cool boy Steph. And that is, he came down in weight in order to fight Monster NUA, and Monster kind of ran away with that fight, fight fans. And, you know, uh, Nonito Denier was good enough to get as far as he got through the World Boxing Super Series and also win belts and everything like that. But when he got on that top floor, man, he got exposed big time uh, against a fighter who was supposed to be at that weight class and one who just came on back down in weight, you feel me? But um, I think that the name recognition and, and just assuring boxing fans that, yo, this dude is as good as the boxing media and everyone is hyping him up to be. And I think that's his biggest criticism going in there. He didn't fight with the Chocolatitos and Estradas when he was at the lower, lower weight classes. The guys who he kind of went through coming up were just, all right, you know what I mean? All right. It's good that he got rid of them and showed a big degrees of separation from them. But they was just I, right, you know what I mean? So this is the one the one name that he needs to kind of get rid of that bit of criticism. So is he as good? Is the boxing media is hyping him up to be? We should definitely get that answer in this fight. Um, also, will his power translate up to a higher class? Though Monster Inoue has been looking like an unstoppable force in the ring and knocking everybody out, you just got to wonder, will he hit a ceiling? You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, man, far as skill-wise, once again, and far as his style and anything of that fashion, no one has no criticism whatsoever. Defense is solid. Power, uh, uh, power, uh, punching, punching selection is solid. Uh, legs are solid. Forward, backwards, east, west, wherever you want to go, fight fans. I mean, the guy can fight. And that's the good thing about both of these fighters. No one is criticizing their skills. Uh, the little bit of criticism that people do have on these fighters, well, they're kind of minute. And, then, and we'll see, we'll get our answers in this fight for sure uh, when it comes to those questions. But very minute indeed, and I think that's a good thing. So there you have it, fight fans. I think this is going to be a hell of a fight, man, either way it goes. Now, like I told y'all at the top of the video, man, I kind of evolved a little bit on this particular fight. In the early days of when this fight was originally announced, I was kind of leaning cool boy stuff, without a doubt, you know what I'm saying? I know about all of his skills, his fundamentals, and everything like that. I believe him to be a damn good fighter, blazing hand speed. That may be the uh, the X factor in this fight with the monster. Maybe his hands may be a bit too fast for the monster. Maybe his feet may be a bit too fast for the monster. But monster got fast hands and fast feet as well. But uh, I, I give the slight edge to cool boy stuff. And I thought that may be the X factor. However, when I thought a little bit more harder about this, and I just think I can't get around that thing of monsters, the guy that's coming up in weight, looking like he'll probably be more comfortable to make this fight. And I can't get out of my mind that Stephen Fulton wanted to move up in weight. And I can't get out of my mind how he's been looking in mid to late in some of these fights in the last, as of late, you know what I'm saying? And so he dusted Daniel Roman though. Don't get it twisted, man. He did a very, very good job against Daniel Roman. And he says that he just didn't make weight too well uh, in the Brandon Figueroa fight. So maybe I'm looking a little too deep into it. You know what I'm saying? He did do very well against Daniel Roman, but I also thought that he still, once again, slowed down mid to late. And um, I just wonder if that is, is that a concern? Once again, I, and, I, and I think that's what the thing that's dragging me back from leaning cool boy steps way to semi leaning towards monster anyway, you feel me? I don't think that um, far as power and keeping monster off him, um, I don't I don't think that cool boy stuff will have an issue with that as far as 
like keeping them on. Cause cool boy stuff, man, can hit you with some zip shots. And he can pile enough up on you to keep you honest. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Monsters is gonna be walking through Cool Boy Steph's uh punches. I, I, I see him as a physically strong fighter. And uh Cool Boy Steph, I believe, will have the slight edge on the inside as well, man. But I think the calculations of Monster in your way, uh the way he looks going through all 12 rounds, as well as his legs, and this is something I'm guesstimating from the lower weight classes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm still going to bet on his physicality lasting him better, given that he is the fighter moving up in weight and Cool Boy wanting to go to 126. You know what I mean? So I don't know. But once again, maybe I could be looking too far into it. But I think we're going to get a little something to the effect of um, a really good fight in the first half, a very, very contentious fight. I think by round seven or eight, we're even looking at an even fight at that point, man. Truth be told, man. Um, I think it's going to be very close. Um, I think also cool boy stuff being in the backyard backyard of Monster Inua is salute for not putting up no uh, obstacles about that. But going into the backyard of Monster Inua, that's going to be an uphill battle, man. Um, I'm going to think that Monster's volume punching and his power is going to be a problem going down the stretch, maybe. Um, but this is, again, this is a hard guesstimation because I've never seen him at the class. But I just think down the stretch, his power is going to show up. And um, I think he'll be the fresher fighter also. So I think that's going to be the key to victory. But I think about round eight, we get a really close fight. And I think it starts to separate from eight to 12. You know what I mean? And I, I would think I would favor that separation right now going towards Monster. I'll be keeping a close eye a close eye on both of these fighters as we get closer to July 25th, man. This is a hell of a fight. It's kind of getting a little drowned out because of Crawford and Spence. But it is what it is, man. I'm looking. I'm keeping my eye on this fight. And I believe that this is going to be a great fight to lead us into Crawford and Spence. You know what I'm saying? So real shit. So thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share Share, 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 rock the bells, man. I'm rooting for cool boy stuff, though, man. I am. I mean, I'm just, I'm giving y'all my boxing opinion right, right, right here. If I had to, if I was gambling on this fight, I would probably be semi-leaning towards the monster. But I got to tell you, bro, I'm not counting out cool boy stuff. He definitely has a, more than an avenue to win in this fight. He's, he's just too good. He's a good fighter, you know. I'm just thinking that his physical won't hold up, but I could be wrong. We'll see. To the next video, fight fan. Peace out.